in the previous lecture we have completed some basic concepts in 3d and we have also created some of the objects so we will move on to next topics now so suppose we will have southeast isometric we will make it ucs icon no origin then we will create one rectangle and we will give it thickness using press pull command so suppose we have given a thickness of 5 then we will view it using conceptual visual style to create a fillet in 3d you have to use our 2d fillet command only so we will use fillet but in this case when you are filleting a 3d object you have to select the edge which will be removed because of the fillet suppose here i want to create a fillet like this so this edge will be removed so i will select that edge for fillet then i will give the fillet radius suppose i want radius of 2 enter then select an edge so one edge is already selected if you want to add more edges to that then you can select multiple edges suppose i want to fillet to these edges also so here 3d object uh, 2d line is there so it is not getting selected so i will have to delete it first if i have to select that line or i will try if it gets selected it is not possible all right i will press enter so all those edges have got filleted so i can e erase this edge and i can fillet this edge also if i erase this rectangle then i will be able to fillet this edge also radius is to enter so this edge has been filleted so in this way you can fillet object in 3d then next we will see how to mirror this object in 3d so for that mirror 3d command is there mirror 3d enter then select the object which you want to mirror then right click then again you have to do right click and you have to select three points so you will define the plane using three points around which you want to mirror the object then define the first point suppose around this plane i want to mirror on this side so i will select these three points first point second point third point then delete source object no so it has been mirrored around that play uh, face so in this way you have to use the mirror 3d command so we will try it one more time mirror 3d enter select object suppose i want to mirror both of them enter then right click three points define the three points of the plane this point this point this point around this plane i want to mirror i don't want to erase source object no so it has mirror around that so in this way you can use the mirror 3d command so after that if i want to use suppose uh, chamfer command so how to do that so i will undo all the object so for chamfer you have to use the chamfer command 2d chamfer command chamfer the same logic you have to select the edge which should be removed because of that chamfer so the after that press enter then specify chamfer distance what is the chamfer distance suppose 2 by 2 chamfer i want to give then specify other chamfer distance again 2 then select an edge here you have to select edge then press enter so that face has got chamfer so in this way you can chamfer then using this ucs we have seen that we can work on different planes of the object to create the object but uh, we cannot uh, work on this odd shape or face using this ucs icons so to work on this face you have to use the ucs command here so we will say ucs then right click then take the face option and select the face on which you want to work and press enter so your icon will get aligned to that face so whatever you create will be created on this face and it will be actually perpendicular to that suppose i create a circle here so it has been created on that face uh, correctly 
so i can press pull it to convert it into 3d and i i will give the depth whatever depth is required you can give it so in this way if you want to work on some non standard face you have to use ucs face option after that there are uh, some useful commands so i will just undo it in solid editing toolbar so suppose i want to uh, erase this chamfer then you can use this delete faces option delete faces select the face and press enter so that particular face will be deleted press escape to come out so unwanted face can be deleted you can also delete the hole suppose some hole is here i will create one circle here uh, okay I, i have to change the ucs to top because i want to work on the top plane so i will create here some circle here and i create using press pull i will create a hole okay so one hole is there if i want to change the location of this hole you can change the location using this move faces move faces select the face circle face enter give some base point then make using effect i am making orthon give direction and give the distance by which how much distance it should be moved by five distance i have given it press escape to come out so in this way you can use the move faces to move the faces move faces to move the faces or you can also use delete faces if you don't want this hole you can select the face delete faces uh, then select that face and press enter so that particular face will be deleted so these are the some important commands from the solid editing toolbar that may be useful after that you can use press pull command for solid editing also suppose i want to increase the width of this object so i i, I can use press pull i will select this face and i can give here i can either reduce the width or i increase the width or here i can key in but i want to increase the width by 5 so in this way you can use the press pull command to edit the existing object suppose i want to increase the thickness by 2 so hole is there i don't want that hole so i will erase the circle so i will say press pull give the height by 2 i want to increase so in this way you can increase or you can decrease also i want to decrease the length by 10 so in this way you can use the press pull command for solid editing also thanks for joining